Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sunroof video. This time we'll be looking at a BSCS net meter bill. If you haven't watched our previous video on how to read BSCS electricity bill, please visit the link on the right or click on the link below. Before we start, let's understand what is net metering or net energy metering and a net meter bill. Put simply, energy consumed from the grid minus energy produced by solar panels equals net metering. Net metering is a billing mechanism for grid-connected home or commercial rooftop solar installations where electricity produced by solar panels is fed into the grid and electricity for household consumption is also drawn from the grid. The difference in energy production and consumption is measured by a bi-directional meter called net meter and the bill is known as net metering bill. Houses that are opting for solar rooftops will have BSCS replace their existing meter with a net meter. This is usually a 20-25 day process. Now, coming to the monthly BSCS net meter bill. This has the same basic format and information as normal BSCS electricity bills, such as customer name, address, meter number, sanction load, power factor, and meter type. However, along with the bill, there's an annexure attached, which has the power production and consumption details. Let's cover the entire bill in detail. Here we have customer details such as name, address, mobile number, and email ID. Basic details on connection and meter are provided here. Bill needs to be paid on or before the due date to avoid any penalty charges. Below here, we have billing details, including bill period, units consumed, and total amount. The total units billed here are 396. The bill amount includes fixed charges, slab-wise energy charges, which are calculated as per slab of units consumed. The slab rates are given at the back of this page. Finally, here we also have taxes levied. After adding late payment charges and other fines, we get a total chargeable amount that is stated here. Now, however, it is time to calculate subsidy. Subsidy to domestic consumer is given in two slabs, 0 to 200, and 201 to 400 at rupees 2 per unit and rupees 2.975 per unit respectively. Subsidy details can be found at the back of the bill. Here we have the total subsidy amount. This amount is deducted from the total billable amount giving us the final amount payable. The back of your electricity bill has tariff details. It also has last six months bill history. Here, however, as the meter is new, we only have four months history. This part here shows the subsidy details which were used to calculate the final bill amount. Note that there is no subsidy given to a domestic user for units consumed above 400. The net meter details are available in the attached annexure. This is where the magic happens. The solar output generated can be seen in the export column. These many units are subtracted from the import units that are taken from the grid. You're only charged for the remaining units. Here, we can see that the remaining units are 458. But if you remember, in the bill above, we saw total chargeable units of 396. So how did this happen? In the previous month, the units produced from solar exceeded the consumption by 62 units, specified here. These were carried forward and deducted from this month's units, leading to a reduction in the current bill. In fact, the benefits don't end here. Because of this carry forward, the total chargeable units become less than 400, making the consumer eligible for a subsidy. You simply cannot ask for a better deal. Now, here are three possibilities with the net difference in units. Net difference can be positive. Here the energy consumption is more than energy production and you will be charged for the difference in units. The unit rate of electricity will be decided based on the slab this difference falls into. For a zero difference, meaning that production from solar panels equals consumption, the bill amount will only have fixed charges, which we talked about before. A negative difference means energy production from panels exceeded consumption and these extra units will be carried forward to your next month's bill and will be automatically adjusted accordingly. Most of our customers want to know, 
What happens if I keep on generating extra units? If at the end of the financial year, a customer has extra units left, then BSCS will refund that much amount at the same rate at which it purchases electricity from the power companies. We do not recommend installing a larger rooftop system than required, as some of our customers have asked us in the past. The investment required to put up a system and expected returns by selling electricity to BSCS may not be justified. Firstly, because the extra units produced will be refunded only at the end of the financial year. And secondly, because the best way to maximize return by investing in solar is when your system reduces your bill by 90 to 95 percent, as this saves you money every month. If you want to know more about returns from solar investment, we suggest you get in touch with us and we will connect you with our solar experts. Call us on plus nine one nine two zero five six nine five six nine zero or visit www.zenroof.com. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos from Zenroof team.